We can help you. We can help you. We'll give you a baby shower. Anything that you have need of. Come out and talk to us. Pray with us. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over music. I just genuinely want to ask you a question. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's Proverbs chapter 6, yes. That's not my opinion. Well, they might not be saved, but the thing is, is... Uh, uh, they need to hear the truth. The truth is the truth. It's it's uh, it's it's not subjective. But we would love to help you, the young lady. If if you need financial help, we will help you. Would you be willing to adopt? Please come come. Can you come out here and pray with us? You don't have to go back in. God does not want you to go in. Is your child's life in danger? Is your child's life in danger? Yours is? But 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 that's a report of the doctor. But that's a report of the doctor. But listen, listen, you're gonna stand in account to God. Nobody kills black people, black people killing their own back to the field. Well, I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling at people. I'm lifting up my voice so they can hear me. See, these people are trying to drown me out. Well, that's that's because that's the conviction of the Holy Spirit. It can make people feel guilty, you know, and it, it makes them feel like I'm judging them. But I'm just preaching the Word of God. That there is hope. Well, when Jesus said, go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So preaching. Yes. Yes, we've, we've, yes, it's been effective. We've, we've had many, many mamas that we've rescued, uh, babies that we've rescued, mamas that have come out. We've had women go to church, get saved, give their lives to Christ. We've given women automobiles, uh, appliances, baby showers. We've, and we would help you, young lady. There's, there's nothing we won't help you with. We will walk along beside you. Mm -hmm. At one point, and I couldn't see the reality bound by the lie. Well, it's, it's love. But guess what? You know, I'm about to kill your own seed, so you can't even talk to me. Come out with black breakers. You're killing your own seed. Well, and, and this is love. Understand, this is love. This is the Word of God. Jesus said to love your neighbor as yourself, right? So they, they, these babies are our smallest neighbors. But not just the babies. We're not just here for the babies. We're also here for you. We're also here for the mothers. Why? Because this is the last line of defense. There, there isn't because, uh, you know, there, we, we do everything. We start at the legislature. We work our way down. We work all different avenues and every different type of way. We try many different methods. But this is the last line of defense. If you can't stop them before they get in those doors, then, then they come out with blood on their hands. And they're murderers in the sight of God. I grew up on the streets with nothing. I live in to repent of this? I, 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 I'm sorry, but I don't believe you'd be saved and go in there. Because, God, you should believe in the sanctity of life. See, the thing is, you know the Bible says thou shalt not murder. 
Exodus 20 verse 13. So that's the commandment of God. It's not, and that's a, the moral law. That still applies to Christians. Uh, the Ten Commandments. So, so why would you sin against God and and, and believe that you can go in there and go ahead and do this? Are, are you thinking that God will forgive you later? But I can tell you that that I can tell you that the likelihood of that happening is is very very uh, very unlikely because you've hardened your heart enough that you'll come in here and murder a child. And the Bible says that God will God grants repentance. You can repent, but it doesn't mean God needs to grant it to you. Esau sought repentance through tears and weeping, and God the Bible says God didn't give him repentance. Because it's presumptuous sin, presuming that God will forgive you. That's Matthew chapter seven. That's talking about hypocrisy. So yes, if I if I if if I was here to kill a baby and I was telling you not to kill your baby, that would be hypocritical. Millions of black What's babies that? being died, and we're in the streets rallying for police brutality. No, not right now. I'm currently not engaged in any sin, you know. Jesus has set me free from sin. So. But, but. That's talking about hypocritical but judgment in Matthew hey, chapter seven. So if I was here, if I was a murderer, I, I couldn't, I couldn't come out here and, and compel you so not to murder. But, but the truth is, young lady, I love you. I just met you, but I love you. I love you enough. I don't want you to go to hell. We are damned to eternal damnation. Are you fit? In a true pit of hell, where there'll be nothing but weeping and gnashing of teeth. Well, it is our place to, to uh, warn our neighbors. Yes, Ezekiel chapter 3, that's what we're doing. The Bible says to warn the wicked, to warn the wicked, or the, their blood will be on our hands. But, young lady, are you familiar with Hebrews chapter 10? Verse 26, 27. It said that if we if we sin willfully after coming to a knowledge of the truth, then we have no more sacrifice for sin, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversary. It talks it talks about that's that's willful sin. That's what you're doing. Willful sin. Please don't do this. Come pray with us. Let us help you. We love you. I don't want you to go to hell, young lady. 